Healing is not easy. But we can't do that in the human strength. We can't forgive just by, oh, I'm a good person, I'm going to try, I'm going to try, I'm going to try. No, it doesn't work. Forgiving is only possible when we come to understand how much we are forgiving ourselves. You know, I'm forgiving so much, I have no right to withhold the forgiveness for other people. And that, that's what the, the scripture is teaching us. And the key verse for this morning is in Colossians 3, 14. Above all, clothe yourself with love, which binds us all together in perfect harmony. Here, um, Paul is actually describing love to be like a belt that binds all the garments together. In the biblical time, the um, belts held all their garments together in the middle, um, just like what I'm wearing today. It's a bit similar, so, you know, if I take this belt off, everything will come undone. <laughs> and you don't want to see that, do you? <laughs> I don't want to see that. <laughs> but that's what, if you get the picture of it, just thought about it. Okay, so this is, think about it. This is a love binding all of the other components that we just read about it. Compassion, kindness, gentleness. You know, all of that is binded by love. If you take the love away, it's all undone. You know, that's what it means. So in a way, in the same way, above all, he said above all, love is like a belt that holds all our characters together. And out of that love of Jesus we have in our heart, it becomes our nature, compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience all manifest out of that love that we receive from Jesus. And it goes on to say, it holds us all together. All of us, not just the holding my characters and my garments in one, but it holds us all together in a perfect unity. Beyond our differences, beyond our cultural background, beyond my opinion, your opinion, you know, beyond my personal preference and what you prefer, all of that. Put to the rest. Why? Because the love of the Christ that we put on ourselves, close ourselves with, bind us all together, believers, in a perfect unity. That's pretty deep, isn't it? Just remember the image of the belt, but don't think about me undoing it. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I love actually being in, in our church because, um, because of our cultural diversity. I, I've learned a few different you know, words from all different people. I have a little boy teaching me uh, Chinese, how to say hello in Chinese, and all my Brazilian friends have been teaching me to dance samba. So I was a bit, I was a bit disappointed when I don't see that this morning. <laughs> Could happen, yes. So verse 15, let's go on. And the last verse here it said, and let the peace that comes from Christ rule in your hearts. For as a member of one body, you are called to live in peace and always be thankful. What does it mean that let the peace that comes from Christ to rule in our hearts? It means peace be our umpire. You know, umpire, there's a baseball game. Does everybody watch baseball? No? But you're familiar with? Yeah, it's making a call. Let the peace of Christ in our hearts make a call when we don't understand. When we don't understand, why does this person do that? Why did this person do that? Why did he say that? Why did she say that? Or even with God, why did God allow that to happen? Why did God not allow that to happen? Let the peace that come from Jesus rule our hearts. Make a call on our hearts. And for as a member of one body, we are all one, someone said that this morning, we are called to live in the peace. It's not just me and a one person. He said that we are all, means all of us, all of the believers are called to live in peace. And he said, always be thankful. Always be thankful to God for his love, for his compassion, for his gentleness, you know, but also be thankful to the others. Thankful to the others. You can always hear the language of the thankful person. You can always hear this, the language when a people has a peace in their heart and know they're loved by God. You know, otherwise, we're going to pick up all sorts of different accents here that it does not align with language of God. So, it's not easy, is it? 
to close ourselves with all of these things. Above all, love, and then compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. And on top of that, he said that we need to forgive. We need to be peace with each other. It's actually not about the behavior tick list box. It's not saying you need to do this, 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 this. It, what the scripture is telling us is, if you know how much you're loved by God, if you know how much you're forgiven by Jesus Christ, and all of this nature will come your new clothing for your new self. So get rid of it. You know, all the, it, it, they actually, they, in the chapter 2, it talks about getting rid of anger. You know, surrender, rage. Why? Because those are closing for your old self before you come to know Jesus. Now you know what he has done on the cross. This is our new closing. Love, compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, patience. Let that become our nature to reflect who Jesus is. It sounds a little crazy because we are in a world being exposed in so much anger and hatred and confusion. Wherever you go, you're going to come across someone who's going to be rude to you or who's going to say something to you or even hurt you in some way, whether it's a workplace or shops or with a family or even among the believers. It does happen. So it does sound a little crazy when we say we need to show kindness to those people who continue to disappoint us. We need to bear injury without fighting back or closing ourselves with love when those are people are so not worthy of our love in our mind. It is a crazy, isn't it? But this is what the Second Corinthians 5 also reminds us. We are God's ambassadors. You know, just as, um, as you can see, I hope you can see where I'm coming from. Yes, I'm not Greek. <laughs> I'm Japanese as I'm dressing. So I'm representing my country by wearing my national you know, outfits today. Like that. You know, and, and if I walk down the street in this, everybody would know I'm from Japan. Is that right? Everything I do in the street will reflect my country. I better behave well. In the same way, the Paul actually in the Second Corinthians chapter five reminds us all of us the believers are God's ambassadors. We are, we are actually compelled by Christ's love that we've been talking about, and we are to become ambassador to take that love to the others. So this is what the Second Corinthians five fourteen and fifteen says: Christ's love controls us. In other translations, said we are compelled by Christ's love. Since we believe that Christ died for all, we also believe that we have all died to our old life. He died for everyone, so that those who receive his new life will no longer live for themselves. Instead, they will live for Christ, who died and was raised for them. Because of who we are and what we know as a truth, how much we loved, how much we forgive him, what Jesus has done on the cross for us, we become his ambassador as we put on those new clothes the fits for our new self. For all of us who received his new life through the death and resurrection of Jesus, this is our new garment, compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, patience, and above all, close yourself with love, love of God that we know self already. <coughs> because it would bind us all together in perfect unity. And that really is my prayer, because I love our church. I love our church, how we can be all so different. We can have all different accents, and we can still be in perfect unity. We have a different culture background. We have different, everything different. We're so unique. So may we be the example to our community, May we be example to our city, to the world, nation, to our, our friends and family. So I might ask you musicians and singers to come up the game in closing. So how are we all doing this morning closing ourselves with? Do we know what closing ourselves with? Yeah. You do. Someone said yes. Yes. Sometimes, I don't know if I'm closing myself well. My, my son's a really good helper. He helps me if I try to walk out with something a little bit. He go, oh, mum, are, are, you, are you going out with that? And I go, oh, uh, shall I change? And he go, 
it's okay, but have you thought about trying this or changing that? And I'm going like, oh, okay. And your friends and family does help us in a spiritual sense to have the self-awareness. How am I coming close to the other people? Am I close to myself with the love of God that we've just been talking about it? Do I come across kind? Do I come across gentle? Do I come across patient towards the others? Because sometimes we think we are. But you know who decides? Others decide what we are in. Because others will deceive you and how you're coming across. And you know, the, the word of God is like a mirror. This morning, I'm sure everybody dressed up and everybody looked in the mirror. Is that right? Before you walk out the door. Same thing. The God's word, when we come to the truth and we come to know more about love of God and what Jesus has done for me and how much I'm forgiving, that word of God helps me to check my clothing in a spiritual sense on my heart. And I think that's what we can also do with each other when you have a trusted friend in your connect group or in your ministry teams. Maybe it's good to ask them, how am I coming across? How am I doing with my self, with clothing? Am I clothing myself with attitudes in nature of the Christ or not? Maybe some of us need to forgive someone that causes injury or offence today. Or some of us maybe needs to throw away our old crows, anger, rage. All the things doesn't reflect who Jesus is. And then put on the new garment, put on the new crows. You might be invited this morning by someone. Maybe you haven't heard there is a saviour. Maybe you haven't heard that there is a saviour who died on the cross for your sins. There's a Jesus who died on the cross for all of our sins. Not just one nation, not just the one nationality, all, all mankind, and took that upon himself on the cross in our place and, and resurrected. And, and the scripture tells us when we believe in that, we will receive the new life in a Jesus Christ. We are raised to a new life with identify yourself in the resurrection and the miracle of Jesus Christ. So if you'd like to receive this morning that new garment, just we've been talking about it, my new natures, I want to be like that. I want to know more about that love that you've been talking about. I'd love to pray with you. We also have a Bible to give away. Um, maybe I'll just ask everybody to close their eyes for the moment and I'll be praying. If that's you and you'd like to know more about this love of Jesus Christ and it's wear this new garment. I love you to put hands up and I love to pray for you and encourage you in my prayer. Anyone here? Thank you. Anybody else here this morning? Okay, let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for what you've done on the cross for us and we'd like to know more about your love this morning. I want to accept your love, your forgiveness into my life and receive a new life in you and to start wearing those new clothes that identify me with you and Lord, I want to forgive all my sins And I receive a new life. In Jesus' name. Those of you who just put a hands up, we have a Bible at the information desk. Um, Pastor Chris is here. If you have any questions, if you want to come and ask him more questions. And for the rest of us, I would love to pray before we have our amazing lunch for God to give us those compassionate hearts and kindness and humility and gentleness and patience towards each other. So Father, we just thank you for your presence here this morning. Lord, we thank you that we are so different, yet we are one in your love, Lord. And God, this morning, 
We just ask you to give us a compassionate heart instead of a hard heart that no longer breaks for those who are in the pains or suffering. Lord, we just ask you to break our heart this morning. Let us feel the pain that you see and you're feeling in those who are suffering, Lord Jesus. And Lord, give us a kindness in our hearts instead of the unkindness. Give us humility 